Welcome to Mind Behind Academy Advanced Course. In today's video, we will be talking about one of advanced actions, which is use logic. Remember that our chatbot is related to ordering coffee. So let's say that our users contact us to order coffee, but they don't give us a specific name of coffee. They just text, for example, I would like to have a coffee. We already have an intent about I want coffee. And in this intent, we have different types of coffee right now. I have only cappuccino and latte and uh, just general name of for coffee. Remember that also we created entity, which is important part of use logic. In coffee entity, I will let myself come back here. In coffee entity, we have latte and cappuccino. And that's important information for us because that's the only types of coffee that I prepared. So I will expect from my users to say either I want a coffee, I want latte or I want cappuccino. And right now, if my user will say I want a coffee and doesn't specify uh, which type of coffee, I will lead them to question, can you specify type of coffee that you would like to order? But if immediately they text me latte, please, or I would like to have a cup of cappuccino, then I will lead them to another flow, to another path of flow. So how do we do that? Let's save again to be sure that everything is fine. So we start with use logic. In here, let's give a name to our use logic. For example, no specific type of coffee. So this is the first, this is the flow that will be let our intent if our user doesn't specify the type of coffee. And now I click plus. In here, condition is coffee and I click is empty because the entity that I've prepared contains latte and cappuccino and the user will not use any of this information. They will just write, for example, I want a coffee, which is not a part of entity that I prepared before. And now I will connect. And now I will connect this logic action to message that they will see after they write, I want a coffee, which is, for example, which type of coffee would you like to have? And I will send it as a send text. And of course, I connect it to AI because I will expect that my user will simply write the name of coffee that they want and save. And remember, we are coming back to logic, our first logic module. And then I connect it to message action 17. And the name of it is um, which type of coffee. OK, and save. So right now, what we have to do to lead our users, if they want, if they really write, I want a latte, or I want a cappuccino, we add fallback. And as fallback, I create another use logic. And in here, they will choose either cappuccino or latte. I will write it in here to not to forget the content of this, uh, of this action. And now I put, now I click plus and in here, the condition is coffee. This is the name of main of entity, then equals. And in here I will write label name, which is for example, latte. I can write many different types of, uh, of coffee entity that I prepared before. And it was latte and uh, cappuccino. And right now, once they choose latte or cappuccino, I will connect them to size. And in size and selection, I'm asking them which size of coffee they would like to have. And now save. So let's go back to no specific coffee, add fallback. And in here, I add, I'm adding latte cappuccino and save. So once again, if my, if my user writes, I want a coffee and didn't write any specific name, 
I will ask them which type of coffee. If they write a specific name, I will either go to with fallback module to Latte Cappuccino use logic module. And once they asked or, or once they immediately ask, I want Latte I want Cappuccino, it will go, it will lead them to question of size. Before we test our chatbot, remember to connect intent. I want a coffee in our case to logic module, no specific coffee. Now we will test it. And now perfectly, as I said, once we text, I want a coffee and I don't give a specific name for this coffee, they're asking me which type of coffee would you like to have? Let's say latte. And right now we have another question that I expected the as I designed. I'm asked which size of coffee I would like to have, let's say medium. And now the flow will be going as I designed it before in our AI based, how to build AI based chatbot video. You can check it there. So this is how you build, uh, this is how you use, use logic. It's very useful. I highly recommend to use it if you have much information with some specific terms that you would like to differentiate one from another. And this is very useful in such case. So I hope you like this video and I hope it will speed up your work. Have a good day. Thank you.